Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be analyzing GBP JPY. I remember I, I requested you guys to comment down below the peers you want me to analyze. And one of you guys have uh, suggested I analyze for you GBP JPY. But before we continue, I want to put something here. I have come to realize that the majority of people are falling under scammers and I don't want you to lose your money. So this is the number if you want to WhatsApp me for any kind of training. My number is here. You have it now. So don't fall for scammers, people pretending to be me. There are so many scammers out there and I will keep saying this on all my videos. There is a course that is available. I charge $1,000. And the reason why I charge $1,000 is because there is 10 profitable strategy. Each strategy is $100, but the, the, the full cost is $1,000. So once you WhatsApp me and you are interested with the course, you immediately get the course because it is recorded. If you're interested to come to Kenya for a physical class, we are on uh, in the month of September, date 9th. So if you want to visit Kenya, and you come to my physical class, you're most welcome. So that being said, um, so don't be scammed, guys. Be careful with your money. I won't tell you that, oh, I'm doing Bitcoins, I'm investing, uh, I will trade on your behalf and all that stuff that scammers say. Be careful. So this person said, analyze for me GBP, JPY. And there is... um. When you want to analyze GBP, JPY more so, let's say you want to have an understanding what is the market doing because we are not just analyzing for the sake. We are analyzing either to get a, an entry or we are analyzing to, to know the direction of the market. Is there an opportunity for us? What I will always suggest is that don't start from four hour because when you start from four hour, what you're seeing, GBP, JPY, you might think, Oh my God, this is a downtrend. The market is on a downtrend. And this is how many majority of you, um, they analyze. So you will come here and judge this market as a downtrend. And you will be saying this, you call it a bearish flag. So you'll say, oh, the market uh, has a bearish flag. And if, if it breaks, it's going that distance, a lot of things. And you will tend to think, oh, the market will sell because it's on a downtrend. When you judge the market on four hour, you are seeing just few data. And because you know four hour data, you're just seeing, you can imagine you're just judging market that started on July and we are eight months down. So you're not seeing other months, just that you're just analyzing one month data. And that's why I tell people go to monthly for you not to get this. So majority of you will notice that GBP JPY is on a downtrend and it kind of is retracing. But when I go to the monthly guys, something changes. What you are seeing, you are just analyzing this candle. What you're seeing is a downtrend, but in, in the, <laughs> this is the truth guys. The market since 2019 has been buying. And that's why majority of you, sometimes you make wrong decision because from the four hour, the market seems to be a sell. Can you see? But when you squeeze this chart, you squeeze this chart, you can see the market has been buying. Can you see? So if you judge only here, you will see, oh, massive sell. This market is selling. But if you squeeze your data, you will see that this sell might be a retracement. So I really highly suggest everyone to... I highly suggest everyone to do a top-down analysis and that's what we'll do. I don't want to make this video long, so let's do a top-down analysis. So number one uh, of the things that I have noticed is that this market, why did it stop? And I keep asking you, that is the first question you're asking yourself, why did this market stop? And for two months, the market has sold with how many pips? 2,795, almost 3,000 pips. What is making this zone very, very, very strong? So what I can tell you guys is that when we look on our left, the left side is what can tell us. So if I look on the left, uh, this market, it's not like it has tapped this double top for us to see oh, the market is on a double top. Remember when I was telling you that if we had attempted to touch this double top, 
this cell would be viable. In fact, we will be analyzing like this. This should be our neckline. We should be saying this cell, it has started a journey of even hitting to the half. Uh, that is 167. And that is so many pips, more than, I, I don't know, so many pips, another 2,400 pips, which could be accurate. But because we have not activated our double top, we are wondering why did this market just stop? Why did this market stop? And you can see they had attempted to break the previous resistance. This resistance happened in 2015. So it was a big deal for this market just to break and eventually calm down. So the question is, and we keep asking ourselves, why did the market stop? Now, you might, let me tell you why the market stopped, because if that is the question, I have to answer. We will come back to where the market had ranged. Can you see how the market had ranged for, these are so many months, the market had ranged for, I will say, so the market entered to this ranging box in June, first June last year. So June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, and Feb of this year is when the market break out. So it consolidated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine months. Imagine it's like a market consolidating for like a year because nine months is only three, shy three months away for one year. So the, the way we trade ranging market, ranging market tends to go that distance. So the market tends to go this distance. So for me, I would judge that the, the reason why market actually dropped is because it had already finished the distance. And immediately when the market finished the distance, it's come to retrace where the market broke. So that could be the first major reason because if we squeeze like this, it's not like it has attempted the double top. There is nothing that is that made this market just to sell. For me, I feel like it completed the setup, the setup that we had. So imagine if on last uh, this year, Feb the market broke and you entered and said, "I'm holding this trade up to the up to the." finishing of the setup, you would have made close to 1,199 pips in just three months. So the market is retracing. I'm just taking you back to understand how the market is. So the market has retraced to this area and this retracement, we are remaining eight days for the candle to close. So is this candle, why is this market rejecting? It has really rejected this area. On the monthly, we may not know, but we will go to weekly to try to find the reason why the market has just rejected. Let's say the market closed like this. This is a hammer. This candle it has not closed. It has eight days, so it can either turn green or it can either come down and be a marubozu red candle. So as at the point, it is called a hammer. So what we know about hammer. Uh, is that Hama comes to tell us that sellers are rejected and start preparing to buy. And because why are we thinking that the market can buy? Because we are still hopeful that the market can want to come and tap this double top. So that might be one of the major reasons for the market wanting to continue to buy. And again, this market is on an uptrend. So we can call this a retracement. As long as we don't see any support being broken you, you see the, there's the way you can see support being broken here there's the way you can see support being broken as long as we don't have support being broken for me i feel that this market can uh the only way we will change direction if they break that support because if they break that support it means the market can start to sell but how it is right now buyers are still in the control so if i go to the weekly time frame I will see what is happening. So the reason why the market uh, the market stopped at this area, it was just retesting this kind of a re resistance. You can see, and we have the hammer already. Uh, we have a hammer already there, and we have a marubozu candle, bearish hammer, and then a bullish candle. These three candles, do you know what they make? They make um, morning star. So morning star again, if you are. If you know the candles, Morningstar represent a, a reversal market supporting buyers. So this Morningstar can tell us that the market is preparing to buy. But candles alone cannot tell you just to buy. So when you when you see on the weekly, 
on the monthly, you might have a hammer. On the weekly, you have morning star. These are candles just to suggest that selling the retracement is done. We are preparing to buy. Now, when we go to the daily time frame, when you go to the daily time frame, the reason why this market has stopped buying is only one thing. We have entered this resistance. So this market had this resistance. You can see we have this major resistance. So we have to observe how will this market behave. And there's something, and, and there's something, guys, I will show you. We have this resistance, and on top of it, we have this support. So I have the support. You see the market broke out of this support and we have resistance. So inside here, anytime you see a market broke. It went down and when it is coming, you're waiting for the market to, you know, there's the way the market can just break that um, resistance and enter inside. Let me tell you, this is a secret I'm telling you, but always avoid, always avoid to trade inside this zone. This zone is called a black box trap, a black box, black box trap, the BBT. So this black box, let me make it black, it traps you because at this point, so many things can happen inside here. Because why is it a trap? Because uh, the reason why it's a trap, let me first reduce the opacity. The reason why it's a trap, you will, it can break this resistance. Yes, we are not refusing. The resistance can be broken. And once the resistance is broken, it just tap here to retrace and the market continues to go down. So, if it breaks like this, maybe your target should be this area. But sometimes the market almost breaks touching here or breaks with a weak touching and then you're tempted to enter. What if it is retesting this area so that it can continue on a sell zone? So that is one of the things that if you're trading GBP, JPY, avoid inside this box. The only time we will be able to trade if the market break out of this box like that or the market will break this support. If we have this support being broken, you see this support? If we have this support being broken, because even if they break this support, the first one, you still have the second one. So let me just pick the second one. If we have a red candle start to break this support, just know the market might continue to sell. So that's what I can say about GBP, JPY. It's a bit tricky to trade it right now because uh, we have some few days remaining for the monthly candle to close. But if at all you want to trade it, I have told you guys, the first thing, guys, avoid this box, this area. This can be a trap zone if you don't, if you're not careful. If you're not careful, you'll be trapped. Because at the end of the day, you'll be thinking, oh, the market is retracing and touching here. And let's say even they, they use a lot of tricks. They can do a green candle touching here and having a, a, a like a week like that. So for you, what you do, you just guess, oh, the market has, has rejected and you will think the market is selling. So once you enter sell, the next candle will break and it can be a very big candle. So they will be waiting to see, to observe. So they can give you a rejection candle for you to think the market will go down. Can you see? So if they want to trap sellers, they will just give them the rejection candle. If they want to trap buyers, they will, if they want to, to, to trap the buyers, they will give a very good candle and you think there's an opportunity for you to buy because I'm a Robozo candle without a week, you will think there's an opportunity to buy. Immediately, majority of people have entered, they, will, they can produce a candle like this. So that is an area where I, I'm telling you, and I will do more videos on that so that many people can realize what I'm trying to say, but that is for the paid students. So I don't want, again, to expose everything that someone is paying $1,000 and I'm teaching here for free. So that is where I'm saying two things can happen. Once majority of people, once they produce this candle, majority of people would sell because they are thinking the market is rejecting this area. Once they produce this green candle, majority of people will buy thinking now we have the momentum because we have broken the resistance and they can do either way. So for me, I don't want you to go on four hour because now going on four hour, you will get more confused. There's so much data. So I want you to analyze this way. This is the way I want you to analyze GBP, JPY. I want you to put a line here and then you put this resistance here and don't trade inside here. So you can put a red like that so that you block it or a black 
And then you say, I will only trade if the market, I see the market coming down and either breaking here. So don't be in a rush. The only thing, the only problem with majority of traders, they are in a rush of executing. So this is a black box trap that I don't want you to, um, to, to be trapped by because GBP, JPY, it is crazy. If you buy and it sells on you, can you see all these pips? Are you ready for all these pips? So be careful whenever you want to trade, just be careful. And yeah, I will do an update. You see what I've said, let's avoid inside the, the black box. And once I see the market has come out of the black box, I will do an updated version. Thank you guys for watching. All the best in your trading. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.